Can I have everybody's attention, please? Moms and dads, grandmas and grandpas, all the guests of honor today, we are in two minutes just about to start. So I ask you, please relax, and I ask you all to be quiet for a moment. We'll be bringing children up, so uh, it will be appropriate if we just be quiet for a moment. Thank you. We are here. Once again, good morning and welcome to St. James. As our children are lining up, just uh, want to say uh, welcome to our first communicants and their families. And again, please make sure that all phones are in silent mode. When our children are receiving the Holy Eucharist for the first time, please remain seated in quiet prayer. And now at this time, I invite you to stand and sing our gathering hymn, Sing a New Song, Sing a New Song. soul for I have seen 
the glory of the Lord. The trumpet sounds, the dead shall be raised. I know my Savior lives. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Singing In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. a grace and peace of our Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. My friends, welcome to the beautiful, great celebration that is always uh, First Communion in the life of the parish, in the life of the church. We prayed for you, we prayed for your children, we prayed for the parents who are present here today for this day, that it will be a special day for all of you. As always, on the beginning of uh, preparing for the Eucharist, we bow our hearts before the Lord. We ask the Lord to pre prepare us for this moment of reception of the Holy Communion by forgiving our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and your blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King. Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have accomplished the work of human redemption through the paschal mystery of your only begotten Son, graciously grant that we who confidently proclaim under sacramental signs the death and resurrection of Christ, may experience continued increase in your saving grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Let us listen to the scripture readings. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. They devoted themselves to the teaching of the apostles and to the communal life, to the breaking of the bread and to the prayers. All came upon everyone, and many wonders and signs were done through the apostles. All who believed were together and had all things in common. They would sell their property and possessions and divide them among all according to each one's need. Every day they devoted themselves to meeting together in the temple area and to breaking bread in their homes. They ate their meals with exultation and sincerity of heart, praising God and enjoying favor with all the people. And every day the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. The word of the Lord.
of the Lord, the goodness of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. God's praise ever in my mouth. Glory in the together extol God's name. I sought the Lord who answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Taste and see the goodness of the to God that you might be radiant with joy and your faces free from all shame. The Lord hears the suffering souls and saves them from all distress. Taste and goodness of the Lord, the goodness of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The crowds, meanwhile, learned of this and followed him. He received them and spoke to them about the kingdom of God, and he healed those who needed to be cured. As, they, as the day was drawing to a close, the twelve approached him and said, Dismiss the crowd so that they can go to the surrounding villages and farms and find lodging and provisions, for we are in a deserted place here. He said to them, give them some food yourselves. They replied, five loaves and two fish are all we have, unless we ourselves go and buy food for all these people. Now the men, they're numbered about 5,000. Then he said to his disciples, have them sit down in groups of about 50. They did so and made them all sit down. Then taking the five loaves and two fish and looking up to heaven, he said the blessing over them, broke them and gave them to the disciples to set before the crowd. 
they all ate and were satisfied. And when the leftovers fragments were picked up, they filled 12 wicker baskets. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. <clears throat> Boys and girls, turn around and look how many people are in church today. Just look around. Look to the back. A lot? Do we have a lot of people in the church today? This is like Easter or Christmas. The church is full. But today, it is because I asked them downstairs, and I know they know it. What is happening today? You are receiving your first communion in this way for the first time. And I want to welcome to this celebration not only in the lives of the children, but in the lives of the parish and the church, a joyful occasion as you accepted the invitation, as you came to join us in this special day. So first, welcome to the children, your parents, your grandmas, grandpas, your godparents. Hopefully they have been very good and a good example to you all along the way since you were baptized. So when there was any help needed in instructing you in faith, that they were very good and helpful. I hope that's what happened. Uh, this is a special day, obviously, because you're receiving, as we already started downstairs, uh, uh, receiving communion for the first time in this way. We were waiting a little bit. You started your instruction earlier. We were waiting a little bit to make sure that you understand a little bit better what is happening today and what is it that you're receiving today. That you're receiving the body and blood of Jesus. God, Jesus chose to come to us in the most simple way that we can receive food. We have food every day. Do you eat food every day? Who doesn't eat food every day? Everybody eats food. So Jesus very wisely chose to be food for us. Every time we gather, we, you come to church to pray, and we have Mass, we receive food. And the food is Jesus himself, his body and blood, soul and divinity. He chose to veil it this way because it would be very difficult for us to relate to receive this food any other way, differently. We are here, and I say this always at the First Communion, because love wins. Parents and grandparents remember this when you met in the hospital, when you were born. I'm assuming you were born in the hospital, maybe on the way to the hospital, but, but generally you were born in the hospital. And then when you were born, uh, we probably, we had SMSs already and pictures. So most of the family received your picture when you were born. And everybody was rejoicing. Everybody was happy because they saw your picture. You little tiny, tiny human being that came into this world. They were exhausted. I saw the pictures of parents when they were in the hospital. They sent me those pictures. You have no idea. They, they looked like they worked for two days, and sometimes they did. Sometimes they did and worked very hard. Why? Because love wins. Then you brought them for baptism to the church. Why? Because you chose to give them faith and share your faith, your family faith, with these children. Maybe it was difficult somewhere along the way, but somehow we made to this holy place where the community comes together and prays God in thanksgiving for the blessings of our life. Why? Because love wins. We come today for First Communion. Again, might not have been the easiest path to this day. 
There are all kinds of activities along the way. I've seen some of the parents when we met here for, uh, for the meeting in preparation for the First Communion, I think seven o'clock in the evening. And you know what? It might be difficult for the children seven o'clock, but I've seen some parents yawning and falling asleep on me when I was talking. They were tired. They were tired, but they came in. They made sure that it happened. Love wins, my friends. And there will be many more moments in the life of your families, whether it is confirmation, maybe walking up the aisle, hopefully, if those today's trends will not take over that, you know, we'll do it some other time, uh, or not at all. So hopefully many more joyous moments when you come as a community rejoicing in your steps growing in faith. Why? Because love wins. I wanted to share, and I do it always at the First Communion with you, how I remember my First Communion. I was a short, little chubby kid, and um, I lived in Poland then. I lived on the farm. With my aunt and uncle, we went shopping for the occasion, like you are dressed today. I wanted to be dressed beautifully for Jesus. Now, I think I was, I was cheated a little bit because the pants to the suit that I got were knickers. They only were reaching up to my knees. I didn't get full pants. And then, and then knee highs, wide knee highs. And then I still didn't have shoes. So we went another day. It was a little town. Most of the kids, the, pair, the families did the shopping and uh, they didn't have the size of the shoes that I was wearing, that I was supposed to have. They were all smaller, and I wanted to look good for Jesus. I wanted to look good for the occasion, so I forced my feet in those shoes, but then I had to walk probably a mile and a half to church. So somewhere two-thirds of the journey, I had blisters between my toes. So one-third of my journey to my first communion, someone had to carry me to Jesus. That's how I remember this. Then it was better. Then I received all the gifts when we came back home and I was happy. The pain was over. The pain was over. I, I still cherish... I still cherish some of the things that I kept for years. picture of my first communion. Uh, well, yeah, I have short pants. <laughs> we went in the morning, then we went home to eat, and then we had to come back in the afternoon to receive the certificate and to take the picture. I think the effort on the part of the brothers was that nobody in the family would have too many drinks during the lunch. They had to go back to church. I keep my cards, some of the cards that people send me. They're pretty worn out. Two weeks ago, it was 50 years. Many of your parents are much younger than that. They're probably in their 30s. Uh, people who came, who shared with me this moment, people who wished me well, and uh, 50 years later, I can remember, I'm 58 now, I can remember the beautiful day that was prepared for me then. And I, I hope that 50 years down the road, you will look at this day, just as I said downstairs, be patient, pay attention to what's happening because this is a very special and important moment. Hopefully, after 50 years, you will remember how Jesus came to you for the first time in the Eucharist. When we were reading the Scripture, the Acts of the Apostles especially, when we participate in the Eucharist, when we receive Jesus, when we are prepared also to receive Jesus, who remembers when we came here one evening and there were little hearts on the pews attached? 
Do you remember that? What was happening? Why did we do that? It was individual. There were four priests in here. And then there was a big tree here in the center. What was it? The reconciliation. For the first time, the children came to reconciliation and they said, I'm sorry for the things that were wrong. I want to improve. I want to live a good life in preparation to receive Jesus. Some of you might have wondered what a strange thing it was to, to put this tree in here and then children were, uh, children were putting their little hearts on it. The point was, Jesus is divine. He is the source of life. If we are rooted, grafted into Him, we bloom. We are people who produce a bountiful harvest. So we, we were preparing ourselves for this special moment in our life, true confession. It was beautiful. It was wonderful. We put even pictures in the parish because people in our bulletin, people were praying for you, for good experiences that you would come back to the confessional, not when you go to confirmation, but month after month, couple of times a year, leaving behind what's wrong and walking with Jesus this journey. Uh, what happens? This is to the children, to all of you. What happens when you are hungry? First answer and correct. She said, hangry. <laughs> hangry. You know, I've learned this word for the first time last year, hangry. I didn't know the word hangry, and I keep walking back and forth. I said, I can't believe these kids have no reaction to it. Uh, but they taught me. They become... Hangry means when, you, when you're hungry, but you're also angry because there is no food. Very good, Colette. Thank you. I wanted to relate this to you. What happens to us when we are spiritually hungry? When we are not close to Jesus, we are not prepared when we don't receive Him. Now, I hope the grandparents who are here are not scandalized by this. Do you... Does, do any children know what it is? Very good. Now I know, now I know that you are not eating only organic food. <laughs> so this is a little betrayal. When you're hungry, spiritual hungry, Jesus becomes our happy meal. Not only for one day, stay close to him, not only for one day, but for the rest of your life. Every time you are hungry, don't get angry. Just receive the meal. Not this one from McDonald's. Receive the meal from the altar when we prepare ourselves and we say, come Lord Jesus. Bless me, my family, my life. Help me to be truly your son and daughter best to my ability that I can be on my journey. Congratulations to all of you. We'll proceed with the prayers, and uh, I hope you have beautiful experiences today. As I said, that you will remember them and carry them deeply in your heart for the rest of your lives. We'll offer the prayer of intercession. <clears throat> Please rise. <clears throat> With faith, let us now present our petitions to God as we celebrate our first Holy Communion Mass. Our response will be, Lord, receive our prayer. We pray for everyone who has helped us to prepare to receive our first Holy Communion, that God our Father continues to bless and guide them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, receive our prayer. 
We pray for Pope Francis, Bishop Barris, and our parish priests, that they continue to model the love of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Receive our prayer. We pray for our families, that they will be pl- that they will be places of peace and love for us all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, receive our prayer. We pray for all the girls and boys who will receive their first Holy Communion, that they will know that God is with them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, receive our prayer. We pray for children who do not have enough to eat or do not have a home that they feel God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, receive our prayer. We pray for the members of our family who are with God, that they rest in God's peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, receive our prayer. Lord, accept our petitions that with great faith, hope, and love we offer to you. We offer them as always through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated as we prepare the altar, and uh, I ask the children to get ready to present the gifts. As our gifts are being presented, I invite you to join in singing, I want to walk as a child of the light. I want to walk as a child of the light. I want to follow Jesus. God set the stars to give light to the world. The star of my life is Jesus. In him there is no darkness at all. The night and the day both alike. The Lamb is the light of the city of God. Shine in my heart, Lord Jesus. I want to brightness of God. I want to look at Jesus. God's son of righteousness shine on my path and show me the way to the Father. In him there is no darkness Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Celebrating the memorial of our salvation, we humbly beseech your mercy, O Lord, that this sacrament of your loving kindness may be for us the sign of unity and a bond of charity. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. You lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ, who is our Lord. For he is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as the saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial. As we eat his flesh that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong, and as we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. <laughs> kneel for the Eucharistic prayer. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Until you come. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, all the people of God and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Lord, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. James and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be called heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours 
forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. My friends, at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching together, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. This day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, power, and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with each other some sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am God, not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
Those who were in the dark are thankful for the sunlight. We who live, we who die, are grateful for this gift. Thankful for God's love. Behold the Lamb of God, all who eat, all who drink shall live, and all, all who dwell in God shall come to God's glory Behold the Lamb of God, all who eat, all who drink shall live, and all, all who dwell in God shall come to God's glory. Peaceful now, those whose hearts are blessed with understanding of the wheat, of the wine, united with God's word and the love. We share. Behold, behold the Lamb of God. All who eat, all who drink shall live. And all, all who dwell. glory Gentle one, child of God, join with us at this table. Bless our lives, 
Nourish all who hunger for this feast. Shelter them with peace. Behold, behold the Lamb of God. All who eat, all who drink shall eat. glory
Now I invite you to sit in silence for 30 seconds so that we can ponder on the gift that God gives us as we receive the Holy Communion. Before the final prayer, I just wanted to remind children that they are staying in the church, in their pews. I will walk out to the back of the church and then return for the uh, picture that we'll all take together. We'll take together on the steps here of the sanctuary. Please rise for the final prayer. <clears throat> Let us pray. May sharing at the heavenly table sanctify us, Lord, we pray, so that through the body and blood of Christ, the whole family of believers may be bound together. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Let us be at peace. Joyful, joyful, we adore you, God of glory, Lord of love. Hearts unfold like flowers before you, opening to the sun above. Melt the clouds of sin and sadness, drive the dark of doubt away. Giver of immortal gladness, Fill us with the light of day. All your works with joy surround you. Earth and heaven reflect your rays. Stars and angels sing around you. Center of unbroken praise. Field and forest, vale and mountain. Flowery meadow, flashing sea. Chanting bird and flowing fountain Sound their praise eternally Thank you. Have a beautiful day, everyone. Now you will take individual pictures. <laughs>